Today, using Apple Motion, we're gonna create our own light wrap plugin. Now, if you don't wanna go through all the difficulty of building this yourself and you want some extra features added in, then you can actually pick this up as a plugin over on my Gumroad store right now. Let's go ahead and open up Apple Motion. From there, we'll select the final cut effect and all of these presets do not matter. We'll go ahead and push open. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select the effect source and we're gonna right click and select make clone layer. You can also achieve that with K. And I'm just gonna rename this to be the edge source. I'm going to select my original effect source layer and we're gonna come down and create a mask. And this is just so we can see the effect working. So I'll just create a basic circle. It really does not matter. Then you'll notice that the clone layer is acting just like the effect source was. With the edge source selected, we'll go up to filters, go down to border and select stroke. From there, we can go into the inspector and under the color settings, it's gonna be important that you set this to white. Now that we've done that, we can actually come down to the bottom and find this hide source checkbox. Go ahead and enable that. So if I disable the effect source, we can see that we have this circle here outlining our circle mask. With our edge source selected, we'll go up to filters and we're gonna go down to blur and select Gaussian blur. Now, if I bring this up, we can see how this is actually feathering our edge source layer, but there's a problem. Currently, it's going outside of where our mask is and we only want it on the inside. So to achieve that, we're gonna to need to use an image mask. So with our edge source selected, I'm going to right click, select add image mask. Then from there, we can go ahead and just click and drag the effect source into that layer. So as I bring up the Gaussian blur, it's only happening inside our mask. So now that we have this up, we need to tell motion what is going to be in the background driving the color of our light wrap effect. Go up to add object and select drop zone. You can also do that with command shift D. With that drop zone selected, I'm going to push command shift right bracket to put it on top of the entire layer stack. Now that we have the drop zone, we can right click and select add image mask. You can also achieve that with command shift M. From there, we are going to drag the edge source layer into this image mask. And now wherever the edge source is, is where our drop zone will show up. Selecting that image mask, we wanna change it over from alpha to luminance. And what that means is that we can actually raise the brightness on our edge source to get the effect to show up a bit more. So with our edge source selected, we could go over to filters, we could go to color and select brightness. Now I can drag up the brightness and you'll see that more of the effect is being revealed as I drag that up. Just so we can get a really clear idea of what is happening, I'm gonna bring in a really bright and colorful photo. So I'll locate that in my finder and just drag it directly onto the drop zone. Taking a look at this, we can see how the photo is being revealed. Now the problem is, is that it is perfectly clear. We can see exactly everything that's going on in the photo. So rather than making this look like a light wrap effect, it's actually just making it look like we can see through the object. So with our drop zone selected, we'll go up to filters, we'll go down to blur, and we're going to select Gaussian blur. Now we can bring up the blur amount quite a bit so that now it just looks like a bunch of blobs of color. Now with this drop zone selected, we can go over to properties and change the blend mode from normal over to something like add or screen. If I go ahead and re-enable the original effect source layer, we can see that as I bring up the stroke width on our stroke layer or the Gaussian blur amount and the brightness, we can see how the light is actually wrapping from this photo that I have imported. Before we can send this over to Final Cut Pro, we're gonna wanna do a couple things. Firstly, we could go up to the drop zone, go to the image and actually clear out the image that's in the drop zone. That way, when we bring this over to Final Cut, it doesn't show up on our effect source. Then we're going to wanna put the edge source and the effect source layer, right click and put them into a group. Now with this group selected, we're gonna wanna publish the position. So I'm gonna select this down arrow and push publish. Then from there, we can go into the circle and go ahead and just delete that circle mask we created because we no longer need it to see what the effect is doing. I'm gonna go ahead and push Command S and publish this over to Final Cut Pro. Now that it's published, I'm just gonna look up Light Wrap and find it here in my effects settings and I'll just drag that onto my tutorial video. Now, as you can see, it's looking white because it has the drop zone effect. 
I'm gonna go ahead and select this drop zone and select the underlying layer that we want to be wrapping onto my clip. And just like that, this clip now has this really nice looking light wrap happening on it. But something that's really, really cool is if we wanna move this around so that the light wrap is affecting it in different ways, we can find the position parameters here and click and drag. And you'll notice that as I'm moving this, the light is wrapping in different ways on this layer. So you could go in and publish your different brightness settings, your Gaussian blurs, everything that you might possibly want access to. Now, if you don't wanna go through all this trouble, you're gonna to wanna to check out the plugin that I created for the light wrap effect. I'll go ahead and apply it, and we can go ahead and select the drop zone of the underlying layer. In here, we can turn up the brightness as we would like. We can turn down the opacity, the edge blur amount, and we can also colorize it. So if we want it to just be a completely different color, we can do just that but I'll go ahead and bring the brightness down. There's also on-screen controls. So rather than using a position parameter over here on the side, we can just click directly on the screen and drag this around where we need it. We could also scale it down and we could also rotate it. So if that's interesting to you, you're gonna wanna check out my Lightwrap plugin. There's a link down below. Thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.